Well hello, this is John Neal here, being pulled out of retirement for one more board. Anyway, this is not my work, this is um, a friend of mine who's done this board, but I've got to put something new on just this side, so not a huge amount to do. Farmhouse Cafe, this way. That's it. So first thing to do, paint this out. Oh, before I go on, uh, thank you very much for all the followers uh, on my channel there's uh, over 11,000 now which is terrific thank you very much indeed and if you want some more information about how to do these boards go to uh, my website and the links are down below for some other videos that you can buy and download um, they're much longer and there's a lot more stuff on them so let's get on with painting this black right well first things first Let's just put the old apron on and uh, I'm having to work outside today because this is quite a tall board, it's about five foot tall so if I want to get to the bottom I've got to lift it up quite a bit and that's not going to be easy inside the workshop so bring it outside and today it's a bit overcast so um, it's not too hot either uh, so put all this stuff on I don't think I've shown you how I try and uh, keep the roller. This is a, just a regular plastic bag, of course, and the roller's in here. If you keep the roller in there, it possibly will keep... I'll put some water on it as well, I think. Um, it keep it wet for a long time. You can just use it again quite easily. I think I did put some put some water on it so I'm just going to squeeze some of this water out there we go and that is uh, not too bad as I say in some parts of the world good to go um, and don't forget of course that the paint is black masonry paint smooth black masonry paint water based and um, does the job rather well Right, this is reasonably smooth. I've uh, got a little trick here. If we turn the roller to the side and rub this down this edge, let's get it dry. There we go. Um, you can get a pretty quick, good, clean edge and not interfere with this um, frame. Here we go. Yeah. Need two coats I think, so let's press on. I don't think you want to see a man painting up a board black, do you? No. And now as if by magic, we've travelled through time <coughs> and the board is dry and black. Okay, I've got to put uh, the farmhouse cafe this way with a big arrow at the bottom, that's all. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this in the same style as the cafe itself. I can show you what the original board looked like and I know that's small letters and that's capitals. And here is the paint I'm going to use. It's, uh, you can't see it, it's Liqu Liquitex um, soft bodied acrylic paint and what I do is take some of the paint, put it in the lid and then water it down simply by going into my pot of water and just adding a bit of water And <clears throat> I've used a ruler to get the lines straight and uh, I may not just stick with this being flat, um, I might uh, put some edging to it. Right, let's see where we can go. I don't 
guide me. I can only think and scratch my head. It seems that every light is red. I don't know where to turn. Everybody seems to be opposing me. Blinding lights are all I see. Is this the road to eternity? Then lead the way and follow me. I can see the sign upon the hill. My headlights up, I know I will get there in the end. Right, I need to say here that the word cafe, of course, looks a little bit rough and I'm going to go round the edges of it with a white pen. Of course, the letter C is curved, but the other letters I can do with a ruler and a pen and look, make it look quite sharp. The words this way are just designed with the brush on their own. I'm just finishing off this um, arrow now and again, the edges of this I can sharpen up with a white pen. Everybody seems to be opposing me Blinding lights are all I see Is this the road to eternity? Then lead the way and follow me Lights up, I know I will get there in the end.